Haribol. I have something awesome to share with you today. This is an album called Chant for Peace by Sevaradika Devi Dasi. So, apparently some devotees out of Florida, Alachua, made an album to commemorate the 50th anniversary of the arrival of Srila Prabhupada in the Western Hemisphere. And this album, I strongly recommend it. This is my first album review ever. And the reason why I recommend it is because, of course, 50 years is always a significant number in any religious or spiritual system. So because 50, 50 years ago, Prabhupada came over here with this life-giving message that was held in the ancient societies for thousands and even millions of years, we're very fortunate that we've received this mercy. So with that, I was playing this album, and the first thing that came to mind when I listened to this album is the scent, the scent of incense. What came to mind? Nag Champa. So go ahead and give you a few seconds to grab some incense, some Nag Champa incense. Light it up, and let's go on a quick journey. It's going to be a full album review, but I'm not going to go song by song. I'm just going to touch on one or two songs that I really like. Particularly track two. Track two is really, really nice. On this album. With divine Grace, AC. So get this album, Chant for Peace. It's very important, Chant for Peace. The transcendental vibration. Let's see who's on it. Established by the chanting of Hare Krishna. Well, okay, I'm going to read the cover. It says, this album is dedicated to His Divine Grace. A.C. Bhaktivedanta Swami Srila Prabhupada's 50th anniversary of coming to the Western world from the East. From the East to West and back again 14 times around the globe. Srila Prabhupada bought the Maha Mantra, the great chant for deliverance to every town and village. And of course we're taking up that mantle and further spreading this Maha Mantra around the globe so that people could feel some peace in an insecure world. So I want I want you to just hear a little taste of this song called Kunja Bihari. Kunja Bihari, of course, is referring to the activities of Radha and Krishna in the pleasure groves of Sri Vrindavan Dham. This album is going to take you on a journey, and the reason why is because it has ancient Sanskrit styles of bhajans and at the same time it also has more modern flavor to it as well this, I don't know this album is nice Got a little flavor. I'm not turning it up all the way or putting the bass on when you get the album yourself And I would like to thank Nishta Nishta Kolasar is the one who contacted me on Facebook and told me about this album Listen, for John Mashtami, I must have gave away 10 copies of this as gifts during Krishna's arrival, appearance party. I want everybody to get their hands on this album. It's a lot of nice stuff going on here. You know, the Divine Protector, what's that about? The Divine Protector is dealing with Narsimha Bhagawan. Narsimha is the lion-headed form of the deity. So when God manifests on this planet, his form is according to whatever his activities will be. The Nubians have records of this lion-headed deity, Narsimha Dev. They call him a pedamek. They have his head going in four directions because, of course, Narsimha Bhagawan could see everything in all directions. He's outside. By Hir Nirshimho, Hir Daye Nirshimha. He's inside my heart. You know what I'm saying? Yato, Yato, Yamitato, Nursimha. Wherever I go, I'm gonna see Nursimha. So the Lord Protector, in the form of the Lion of Judah, as the Rastas are familiar with him, is also represented in the ancient Indian tradition or in the Vedic tradition as Narsimha. Yo, this album is just mad ill. You get your hand on it. Oh, Hari, what's the one? There's one, right? Let me tell you something about lust. There's one of these songs is mad sexy. Now there's lust in the material world and there's also transcendental pure lust in the spiritual world and it is said that the gopis lusted after Krishna but because the gopis are not normal living entities 
their lust was of a transcendental variety. I just cut my hair, so I just gotta like clean myself up, change my shirt, take a shower, look nice. But right now my spirit is going, and that's what's important. This song is nice. Like yo, I don't know. <laughs> I'm having a good time. So this one is called Oh Hari. Let you get a little taste of it. So this song right here, I ain't gonna lie to you. Right. She's saying basically, you know, always chant this Hari Krishna mantra and there's no other way, there's no other way, no other way to attain self-realization in this age. That's what she's talking about on this song. But this song tells me that I should be on a motorcycle like a Bugatti or something like Something that I paid $300,000 for and, and just going at a high speed and I got the headphones and Hare Krishna, Hare You know what I'm saying? It gives you that vibration or in a drop top, you know what I'm saying? It, I don't know man, with the wind blowing through my scalp <laughs> you know? This album got some, some vibes, you know? Let's see what the Maha Mantra track is about So yeah, I'd like to really thank the devotees for sending me this and hopefully the whole world will pick up this this album. Um I hope that Mother Lakshmi goes right now and grabs Kubera and says, yo, we're going down to Florida, we're gonna find Nishtakola Star, and we're gonna bless her and our family profusely so that at least when they don't have to worry about material things. Material concerns, paying oh bills. Ta yeah, hey, listen. Hello. Okay? Thank you. So that at least those devotees will be liberated from, from any financial struggles. That's my boon for them. I hope this album sells like 12 million copies in three days. So anyway, right, on September 19th, if you're in the Boston area or if you want to meet up in the Boston area, there's going to be a mega docious Maha boat ride commemorating the 50th journey of Srila Prabhupada to the Western Hemisphere. So once again, run out and get this album. It's called Chant for Peace by Seva Radhika, Devi Dasi, and I mean everything. And let's pay attention to the cartels because they get wicked with the cartels. And even my son said that with the Merdanga, the drums, that they got some good Merdanga players. Like I like the drums, I like the cartels. I'm not so much of a harmonium kind of guy, but if you know how to play the harmonium properly, it's the perfect accent. So please, get these 10 tracks and head on into bliss. Please get this album. Hare Krishna.